service today. We got quite a bit to fit in for this morning's worship service. Lord's Supper and a few other things. Amen to that. Yes, great. Amen. Um, two things, uh, several things actually, but two first off. Remember that we are having a Wednesday night meal uh, here back at the dining hall. I'm Sloppy Joe's to serve the tea. Sounds great. And if you want to come, please do fill this out. Let us know how many in your family are going to be here. And so we can have plenty of food there. You can place that at the offering plate. And also be aware that offering years earlier in the service today, as, as it normally is. So uh, we want to get those taken care of pretty quickly. Also, uh, we do have the black folders. And there are black folders in front of you. And uh, and there are uh, for attendance. So please uh, let us know about that. Let us know about your presence here this morning. And it's always wonderful to be in the house of the Lord every Sunday. And it's a great habit to have. All right. Well, it's, uh, there's a couple of announcements this evening. There's discipleship training at 5 o'clock, and uh, there are a few things going on. I know the men have, uh, uh, we're studying Ecclesiastes, we started that last week, and that study's going very well, and we are flying through it too, so uh, you don't want to miss that if you are a man, certainly. Um, it's a wonderful study, uh, and, uh, and women, it's good to study that too, it's just, just a men's Bible study, it's just how that works. Um, anyway, uh, uh, this is, uh, we will talk about this today, of course, but this is uh, Zach Belknap's last Sunday with us, uh, as a youth minister at least, and um, and so we do want to uh, wish him a, a wonderful time uh, at uh, Ridgewood Christian School as he starts uh, later on this next month, so uh, as he begins that uh, new chapter in his life. Um, and we do want to thank everybody for VBS. There is a thank, thank you note here in the back here for VBS. For anyone that worked VBS, especially, uh, as it says in this note, the preschool VBS, uh, it was a wonderful time. And uh, it was a great, great opportunity to see that. There were several salvations and, uh, and lots of uh, really, God really worked in a wonderful, special way through the VBS ministry this year. It's been a wonderful thing. Um, Brother David and Liz are going to be on vacation this week, and uh, and so it's uh, going to be kind of short-staffed in the office this week, and uh, you want to know that. Um, I'm taking my day off this week on Friday instead of Tuesday, so uh, so just to, if you want to know, just know that I will be in the office on Tuesday most of the time, and then uh, Friday I'll be taking the day off, so that's a, that's a change in the schedule for this week. For anyone who needs me during the week. And also, um, Joyful Noise Rehearsal. We're going to have a short rehearsal this evening at 6 o'clock to prepare for Fifth Sunday singing. And uh, of course, that's going to happen this evening too. And, but no rehearsal for Joyful Noise tomorrow. So that. And then Celebration of Fire, we're starting again on, on Wednesday, uh, August 1st. We're starting up again a new season, uh, working on lots of music for the fall and Christmas as well. And also, this is the last week, really next week's the last week, but it was the last week we're going to show a video for operating, or, wow, that's another one, uh, for um, Shoes for Orphan Souls. And uh, we have lots of shoes over here. Our goal is 100 pair. We have right now 54 pair as of last week, as of the past week, so I know there have been several pairs added to it this morning, so there are more than 54 pair over there right now. So uh, we do have 100 shoes. This is not 100 pair yet, so uh, we do want to get that 100 pair. Most people have two feet, so we do need that situation. And uh, if you if you want to go this next week, go get some shoes, and then bring them this next Sunday, that's fine. On August the 7th, uh, it's a Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Uh, there are going to be people up here um, sorting the shoes out and, uh, and sending them off where they need to be sent off. So we'll be doing that. If you want to volunteer for that, it starts at 10 o'clock on uh, Tuesday, August the 7th. And there'll be plenty of uh, opportunity to help there uh, for anyone who'd like to do that. Um, so uh, anyway, I just do want to thank everyone for uh, giving shoes uh, during this time. And then, of course, this, ap this afternoon, right after the worship service, we're going to have a uh, couple of things going on, a fundraiser dinner for the Kimballs. And as they're, uh, and, and actually, Gerald is they're raising money for the African mission trip. And uh, we think that they will go over at the end of this uh, fundraiser. So, I mean, they are very close to raising the money. We're very thankful for that. 
And then also have a little reception for, uh, for Zach and, and appreciation for his time here. Okay, well, all right, now it's you kind of come up to this level now. Let's all stand as we greet each other and sing God's praises.
will be also the time we take up the offerings. So will the ushers please come up? Oh, yes. Almost. Okay. There are a lot of things happening today, and and uh, Dan's right. We're going to take up the offering in just a moment. But uh, we're supposed to have the Kimballs and Ashley, and I think we also want Zach. Do we have Zach? There he is. And what we want to do is have them all come up here in front of the Lord's Supper table. Uh, this is going to be our opportunity to commission them to what God is doing uh, in their lives. And of course, this is a mission team to Ghana, West Africa. And this is a mission team to Port Arthur, Texas. <laughs> and he's a team all in it on his own. If you would like to come up and, and place a hand on them in a kind way, <laughs> we're going to pray for these folks. <coughs> the Kimballs have uh, prepared lunch today for anybody who would like to come and be with them. It is a, it is a beef pasta creation. And uh, dessert and green beans and all these things. And so, all right, you ready? Heavenly Father, we thank you for Zach, for his ministry, for the time that we've known him ever since before the eighth grade. We thank you, Lord God, for who he is and who you have made him in Christ. Lord, we know that. Uh, He's going to be stretched in all kinds of new ways. And we pray, Lord, that you would be all sufficient in his understanding even now. So that when he's facing those crises of belief, he'll know exactly where to turn. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, give him great wisdom uh, for working with students and working with uh, staff and, and working with parents. He's going to call for all of that. Your wisdom, Lord, we ask for him and pray that you would be also uh, with Charlie as she continues to work there. Uh, Lord, that you would bless her work in the office at the, at the Christian School at Ridgewood. And Ray, as he goes to teach, uh, Lord, that you would help them to see you at work in a mighty way through that ministry in the lives of these families. We pray for the Kimballs and for Ashley. Lord God, that as they uh, go to uh, literally what is the largest garbage dump on the planet to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with people who are living on what is there in that dump, uh, that you will open incredible doors of witness. That they will see many people come to faith in Christ. And, and Lord God, that they will be greatly blessed by the service that they give you. We ask for their protection. We ask, Lord God, for the whole group uh, going with uh, Eric Fuller and, and that you would protect them all and that, Lord, that you would uh, help them to have insight and discernment in the areas that they have been to and knowledge and understanding of how to relate to various situations. That you would fill them with your spirit that they will have power to do the work that you've set ahead of them. Lord, we would thank you for all these things. We pray in Jesus' name. Thank you. Now, if the ushers would like to come. And during this time, we will also watch a video of Choose for Orphan Souls. And uh, during the offering time as well. So let's get, take a another short prayer. Father, thank you. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get through this. We are. Heavenly Father, we, we pray, Lord, for uh, our worship today. And this giving is a part of our worship. Lord, that as we worship you today, that we will do that in every area of our life because you are worthy of our worship we wouldn't exist without you. Nothing that we have that's worth having uh, came from ourselves. It all came from you. So as we sing your praises, as 
we cry to you in prayer and ask your presence and your direction in our life. As we return to you that which is a portion that you've given us and then use the rest of it in a way that brings you honor and glory. Lord, we would thank you for using it for your kingdom's purposes. That your kingdom may come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that soon we will see Jesus. Lord, we would thank you for that. For it's in his name we pray. Thank <laughs> you.